is Håkan from Arix Hooks and today I will be tying a spay fly called the Claret Shoveler. And uh, this pattern is originated by Bob Bivrika. Uh, and I will be using the Arix bomber hook called HR418 on this fly. The size I'm using is size 4. Start by setting the thread. And we tie in a piece of oval gold tinsel back to the hook band. And <clears throat> half the body is made out of silver tinsel flat silver tinsel, so I tie it in the middle of the hook shank and wind it back. And then forward again. And tie. The rest of the body is made of, of a clar a claret seals fur or substitute. Don't make the body too heavy. Keep it a bit slimmer. And try to paper it off towards the hook guy like this and the body hackle is it says uh, it should be a brown spay hackle uh, and I'm using a natural brown ring neck feather which I think is a really good substitute for heron or other spay feathers so I strip off all the fluff and tie it in. In front of the body. And I use a hackle plier. You need to be very careful with the tip of the hackle. And then I wind two or three turns just over the claret dubbing and let the plier hang there and I make one and a half turn of the gold tinsel and then I secure the hackle and move forward And we cut off the tip. And then I try to pull down the fibers on the side as much as possible. And the name Claret Shoveler comes from the front tackle, which is a feather from the shoveler duck, which have a nice brownish color with nice marking on the side. And I don't want the hackle to be too heavy, so I pull off all the fibers on the side of the stem, which are supposed to be against the fly. And then I just Cut off the tip and tie it in. And then we make two or three turns. And as you can see, when you strip one of the side, the hackle is much easier to work with. And now we tie it in. Now we can see how 
nice, these sort of soft markings mixed together with the brown spay feather. The wing is from the Argus wing feather. Uh, could be sometimes difficult to find it, but you can substitute it with the wing feather from Peacock. It has the similar uh, markings when you cut out uh, a section. So I cut out a section for the side closest to me. And as you can see, this is supposed to be on my side. So the longest fiber is on the top and the shortest on the bottom. Uh, was a bit too wide. And then I carefully tie it in so it don't stand up too much, and don't stand out. It's supposed to, to be sort of a V shape over the top of the fly, but I want my wing to go down a bit on the side. So it's, well, you need to practice and, and, and try to pull it right if it's, if it's out of where you're supposed to have it. It goes over a bit too much, but... Oh, I think this would work. And then we take the same size from the other side. And carefully tie it down so they meet on top of the fly and then get that V shape on top of the back of the fly. And when you secure the wing, just cut off the waist and make a neat head. And then make a whip finish to finish it off. And now you need to put some varnish on the head, a couple of layers of varnish, which are allowed to dry up between the layers. And there you have it.